What the fuck are we gonna be talking about, Devin? I'm gonna be giving you guys advice that I wish I had starting out because there's a lot of myths, a lot of misinformation that gets spread around the interweb, spread about like talking to your homies at the gym, talking to your homies at school, talking to your homies at work. Everybody is a fucking professional. I'm gonna be dispelling some of those myths for you guys, hopefully helping you out within your bodybuilding fitness journey. But before I do that, make sure if you're new here, new as in not subscribed, you go ahead and subscribe to support your boy. Comment myth, M-I-T-H in the comment section down below for the algorithm. The first fucking myth, and I swear to God, I swear to God, I'm guilty of this. Everybody is guilty of this. The first myth is that the more you fucking diet, the more you're gonna see your abs. And guess what? If you're not a bodybuilder who has spent years building up their abs, as well as the rest of their physique, no matter how hard you fucking diet, your abs are not gonna show simply because you have not built up abs to where they can actually show. You barely have muscle to start with, and then you're gonna diet yourself into the ground. I was probably eating like 500 calories some days. Like, I'll throw a picture up. Looking back on it, I was talking to my girlfriend. I'm pretty sure I had some sort of ED. I was eating like, guys, I, it was really fucking bad. I went from being kind of chunky, I was a chunkster, and then I kind of went the opposite of that, and I think I sort of have like an addiction to being in extreme control of like the food that I'm eating, and now I guess, it's becoming somewhat better. There was a time there where I was eating probably 500, 600, 700 calories a day, and then going to the gym, doing a shit ton of cardio on top of that, doing a shit ton of sauna, which is extremely, you have to be very careful with that shit. Bro, I'm not seeing my abs, I don't look fucking ripped. And you think like, I'm gonna do cardio, and I'm gonna look like fucking Bruce Lee, bro. That's not how that shit works. It doesn't work like that. No amount of cardio you do is gonna make you look ripped if you don't have muscle to begin with. In order to look ripped, you have to build muscle. Most of the time requires eating in a caloric uh, surplus, or if if you're doing a recomp, maybe it requires eating at caloric maintenance, okay? But it does not entail eating at a caloric deficit, which 99% of us, when we first start off, we're like, I wanna be a fucking man, bro. And the best way to build up that physique is by either doing a recomp or doing some sort of bulk. Like, I prefer to do the main gaining approach because I'm not a giant fan of bulking, I just prefer to main gain, maybe 200, 300 caloric surplus, but I've never done a crazy bulk. What I've achieved right now, please do not fucking think that you're just gonna diet yourself into looking like a bodybuilder. That's literally counterproductive and that's not how it works. Most of all, it's bad for your mental health. If you're starving, you're not firing as properly. You're not as sharp, okay? So the next myth that I always hear floating about in this bitch, okay? I kind of just mentioned it before. The next myth is that doing a shit ton of cardio is gonna give you the body that you want. So let me break down what my routine was when I first started training in the gym, okay? This was like 2018, just graduated. I was a little chunky. And I was like, I'm going to the gym. I'm getting a gym membership and I'm getting my shit correct, okay? I'm getting my shit together. This is what my routine entails. Okay, I would go do HIIT on the treadmill. So pretty much I would do five minutes running full fucking speed Maybe like more like four to three minutes running full fucking speed uh, Like a light little pace light jog for like five minutes and then so on and so forth so forth I did that for 20 minutes HIIT on the treadmill and then I would go and do about Steady state on the on the stepper for 30 fucking minutes Once the time I was wearing a windbreaker I would literally I swear my fucking life wore a trash bag underneath the windbreaker no fucking cap I was like, this shit is gone, son. Those of you guys who don't know, wearing a trash bag underneath your shit is not gonna burn fat. It's gonna make you lose your water weight. When you drink water, you're gonna gain it all right back, okay? It's essentially not doing anything for you. That's another fucking myth for the free, okay? So after the stepper for 30 minutes, I would go ahead and go to the spinning room and I would be spinning for another 30 minutes. So that's like an hour of 20 to, and then I almost forgot. And then I would go to the sauna for 20 minutes and suffer even more. So all I was essentially doing is drying myself the fuck out. I was also losing weight weight, yes, but I was not building up the physique that I wanted. Obviously, the end goal was to be more masculine. Doing a shit in a cardio is not masculinizing your body to any fucking degree, okay? So please, if you're one of these people that is like dieting yourself into the ground or you're doing a shit ton of cardio, it's not going to yield the results that you want unless your primary, your single, one and only goal is to lose weight. Yes, you will lose weight. It has nothing to do with how you're built. It has nothing to do with your shape. It simply means that your frame is getting smaller, okay? Sorry guys, I had to say it. So please do not fucking cardio yourself. Cardio your, cardio yourself. Please do not cardio yourself into the ground. We have all somewhat been guilty of committing this crime against humanity. And this is having a shit ton of protein supplements in place of real meals. The people that you look up to on Instagram, on TV, on YouTube, they're all sponsored by supplement companies and they all get paid, they get commissioned from telling you, use this protein, use this protein, I use this protein, I look like this, I use that protein, I look like this. So you're like, fuck it, these guys look like this because of their fucking protein supplements. Go out and you buy protein powder 
powder. You buy your little fucking hat. It's fucking my forehead again, bro. Go out, you go to Walmart, GNC, Vitamin Shop, whatever the fuck, and you buy your protein bars, whatever the fuck. You buy your protein powder. You're drinking that shit. Why am I not jacked, bro? And you want to know why? Because... I just smashed the camera. It is essentially fillers. Yes, it has protein. Most of the shits you look at it is mostly protein and carbs and sugars. And maybe if they're nice, they use alcohol, sugar alcohols like xylenol or urethra or whatever the fuck, you feel me? If you compare one serving of protein powder, which is most of the time like, what, 30 grams, it's like, has 25 grams of protein, like just carbs, barely any vitamins. You compare a serving of protein powder to a serving of, for example, ground bison, which is what I usually, 93 cents. For this, compared to this, my point in saying this is that you can ingest all of the protein products that you want, but at the end of the day, the reason why they're called supplements is because they should be supplementing when you are not able to reach your protein threshold with actual fucking food, ground beef, ground turkey, chicken. Not so big on the steak anymore because I did realize that that was having a negative effect on my physique. Everybody's different, so I myself only use my protein. I put a scoop of it in my Greek yogurt, which is my snack for the day. So please, for the love of God, do not just not be eating meals and only drinking protein and only eating protein bars. Your body composition is gonna be pretty fucking not awesome. That's like a myth that I'm fucked. You're like, Devin, didn't you say protein is a blah, blah, blah? What I said is that protein is a supplement, as in you use it when you do not reach your protein intake with natural, regular, whole food. Not that you shouldn't use it at all. So the next thing that it took me a long time, I'm talking like up until probably, up until probably six months ago, pre-workout cannot replace a delicious, beautiful, melatonin-rich, awesome night's sleep. Sometimes I'll be going to bed at like 11, which for me is late. I'm like a grumpy old man. I literally like to get to bed at 10. <sighs> Relax, put my phone away, talk to my girlfriend. Do not fucking have a shitty ass sleep schedule and rely on pre-workout to get you through your workout or even to get you through your fucking day son like purchase melatonin i myself supplement 50 grams of melatonin it's either milligrams or grams it has to be milligrams like 25 30 minutes before i go to sleep it helps me get to sleep for myself some people say it doesn't for myself it helps me stay asleep and you will notice such a difference i can literally believe me bro i can literally lift more weight when i've had good sleep your body needs sleep to recover it's literally like a fucking cycle okay it's a cycle and if you fuck up the cycle you're fucking up your gains and we're all here for the gains okay so that is shit that you need to be tightening up on we can all do a little bit better in most of those departments that is the video you guys hopefully you did enjoy it hopefully you did find it informational so if you're interested in coaching meal plans or training plans go ahead and hit my business email devin does gmail devin does gmail what devin does coaching at gmail.com it is in the description below go ahead and follow me on instagram dvnsprs and like i always say devin loves you devin's it's done and Devin is out of here, boy. Ah.